Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hearts of Iron 4 video. I have played Germany many, many times. It's the most powerful and most versatile country to conquer the world with, but I have never really played a proper democratic Germany, as in without exploiting your early fascist government to attack people before you switch to democracy, or doing it simultaneously with something else. I think it's time to try that and verify if the proper democratic path for Germany is actually feasible or not. But before we begin, a message from a sponsor. This video is brought to you by War Planet Online. War Planet Online is a mobile MMO real-time strategy game set in the future of our own world. Since you're watching this video, many of you are surely interested in the wars that happened in the past. Well, this is a more futuristic take. You can build your own custom base on a real-world map, with actual real cities and stuff like that. There you can stop our troops, tanks, helicopters and all the other weapons you can think of available in modern warfare and march your armies across the maps. But the stronger you are, the more of a target you become. You can play with your friends, team up with them to outmaneuver your opponents and the decisions you make will impact the whole map. So build up the base, recruit and assign commanders and enjoy yourself in a futuristic world war conflict. There is also giant robots and the game is free. It is available on the App Store, Google Play and the Windows Store. If you're a fan of games in which you can wage war on a global scale, then this might just be the game for you. So make sure to follow the link and try it out for free. And if you do click it, that does help the channel. So check it out. Okay, back to House of Iron. Regular difficulty, I'm in multi historical focuses. Let's go. Now, before we oppose Hitler, we will want to make this civil war as painless as possible. Now, normally I would just start by attacking someone, just if I walk on Poland or France or someone like that, and only after that switch to democracy. But not this time. This time we're doing it properly. Still, there's no harm in making the civil war easier on us. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need some army experience. We could do that by doing army innovation or we could do that by just exercising our troops. Let's see how many experience points we get per day by just exercising them before we do anything else and build up some civil factories here and here and here. As for research, we have four slots, which is a lot. Let's do superior firepower, electronic engineering, construction and production. So we have production, limit the amount of support equipment and artillery, cancel tanks, cars and planes, reduce the number of ships to just the ones that are currently already underway in production and add some convoys. What else? More guns, please. And exercise all the troops that we have. See how much experience we're gaining from it. Unpause and speed the game up. Okay, we're getting around one per day, which means we will get around five experience in 50 days. And five experience is exactly how much we need. So let's go straight into oppose Hitler, shall we? Oppose Hitler, right away. I think we can handle it. So let's train some more troops. Oh, the army experience amount has been reduced. What if I cancel this? It's back to being high. Weird. Is that because of the equipment? I'm not sending to my troops if I'm training new ones. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I meant to deploy more troops just to make things nicer during the Civil War, but that's not strictly necessary. I just need five experience to make sure all my enemies' units that, you know, they start with, except for the Landsturm Regiment uh, template, that all these units are worthless. Well, there used to be an exploit where you could just send your troops out to sea and they wouldn't be divided. I think they fixed that. But there's still other things we can do. And we are at five army experience. Let's create a new division template. Let's call it Trash and add a single entire air unit to it and then nothing else. That's what we're switching all our troops into. See, the enemy will get half of those and they will not switch their templates. Stop the exercise, switch the trash, or oh, maybe go here. That should do it. We will switch them back once the war starts. Oh, also, let's see if the Landsturm Regiment trick still works. I don't remember if it does. Edit the infantry division, duplicate it, and call the new one. This is important to get this right. Landsturm Regiment. They might have fixed this. I don't remember. Anyways, instead of some crappy units, we will get fully equipped good units. If we did army innovations first, I could further expand this template, but um, it's not that important. Okay, now we wait for the civil war to trigger. And here we go. Wehrmacht officers challenge Hitler. Clicking this, start a civil war. Now let's see what happened. The enemy got 16 of these trash units and they're not going to switch their templates. And we got Landsturm Regiment. What template is that? Oh, they fixed it. My template was automatically renamed to Landsturm Regiment 2. Mm, yeah, I think I already saw that they fixed it, but I forgot. Anyways, those 14 trash units, I'm going to switch them to our regular infantry template. And we do have enough equipment for them, and they will actually be useful. The launch the regiments, they're not very good, but we will use them also. Field Marshal, let's promote Guderian. Generals, Kesselring and Bunstein. Leader, Mackensen. Let's also go to war economy immediately. Put our troops on balanced and activate their orders. Now our infantry will take some time to receive reinforcements, and I will also train new units. Let's do the cavalry brigades. I'm also gonna do new units, but um, I suppose I will do that once we get some army experience is going to be faster that way. As for a focus, four-year plan. 
and go. Turkey remilitarizes us and we are embroiled in the civil war. See, the enemy has those trash templates that I make, which are pre pretty much worthless. They also have uh, the regular infantry templates that I also have. But once my guys receive uh, equipment, they will crush them. Or at least they should. I do have some planes. Wait a minute, did I receive Königsberg? I did, kinda. Get all my planes here, focus here. Okay, and now we wait. Also, I suppose I could be gathering up political power rather than doing four-year plans so that we could do extensive conscription now. Yeah, let's do that. Because we are now non-aligned, so doing uh, extensive conscription will be difficult. Mechanical computing. Our equipment situation is pretty good. We will want to deploy some more troops now. We have eight experience. Let's create a new division, new template, just one infantry battalion, call it the small one, and train these. Let's say 10 for this army, 24 for a new one, 34 units. Deploy here. Highest priority. We're making some progress. Very slow progress. But still, we get a very strong bonus from Mackensen and also the enemy units are trash. And we're almost at 150 political power. We are now at 150 political power. We're going to go to extensive conscription and start the focus, which is for your plan. We need extensive conscription now because later it will be difficult to do it. Can I deploy these units yet? Yes, I can. Deploy them all. Switch them all to the default infantry template. Add them to armies. Student, just focus you guys here. Equipping them will be difficult. How difficult exactly? Quite difficult. But look, I just put them on aggressive. The enemy should be much weaker. This will make this war shorter. Yeah, go. As long as you receive some guns, you'll be fine. Some damage, no problem. We'll repair that in no time. Move closer. Going well. Construction complete. Will you construction two yet? I suppose. Then with two bonuses from four year plan, we can go up to construction level four relatively quickly. Four year plan complete. After key. We should be winning the war soon. Berlin is taken. Oh, did I get the Hitler found a dead thing? Did I just dismiss that? Hmm, perhaps I did. It doesn't really matter. Researching delay a bit because we're about to have a lot of army experience that we can use to speed it up. And now we can. Spanish the war. Gonna ignore that for now. How far are you from capitulating? Almost there. See, they're still using the trash templates that I made for them, which is why. They are so weak. Well, I can hire Hjalmar Schacht. Uh, he's very cheap and actually will be helpful. Okay, let's hire him. And they capitulate. We're done with the civil war. Once outer key is done, we can do good things here. Secure the new state, reestablish free elections, and so on. We will want to go democratic. Okay, I think we are fine. Oh, did I forget to... <laughs> I forgot to give my field marshal bonuses. Uh, the war would have been a bit easier with them. So, we're now good Germany. We're not going to attack anyone this time. Well, until we turn democratic. Okay, let's wait for our focuses to finish. Suppose I could exercise these guys up. Uh, Nazi leadership captured. Uh, let's hang them. We have two full armies of infantry and a lot of damaged factories, but uh, they're going to repair on their own. I don't need to spend factories on repairing stuff. And generally speaking, we're not in a rush. It's going to take a long time for anything else to happen. So, let's train three more armies of infantry. Just just like that. Let me give them priority. And you guys will be modified a bit. Infanteria Division will go up to 20 width, get some recon, and support anti-air. Of course I'm gonna need to produce these components, but we are Germany. Our economy is powerful. Something like this should suffice for now. I could also do paratroopers. I guess I should do paratroopers. They're always kind of useful. And again, they require a lot of fighters, but if I have to fight France, it'd be very easy to kill them with that. No, maybe not this time. I I'll think about it. Oh right, and exercise you. Our manpower is quite high. This will not be a problem. Outer key is Complete. We could go down to the research slot, which would boost us tremendously, but it's time to do political stuff first. Extra stability and political power. Nice. We're at the glorious 5 experience. Perhaps I should make them 40 with immediately. It will be a while before we actually fight someone. Maybe we should deploy more of them first. Probably that. Mechanical computing. Now I could ease up these bonuses on improved machine tools and concentrated industry 2. Or I could try to stack them and do construction 3 and 4 quickly. That might actually be more beneficial. Anyways, computing machine and radio. I want signal companies. Perhaps I should add some proper line artillery into those templates. Not a lot, but something like two. Maybe two or three or four in a 40 width template. I'll think about it. Our military industry is not very big or strong, but it will be much bigger. I first want to focus on civilian factories. Now we can re-establish free elections. That's gonna give us democratic support and unlock some advisors. I could already do an anti-fascist agent who gives us extra stability, so I suppose that is feasible. But we have Hjalmar and we have limited slots. And once I do re-establish free elections, that will give me some more options, like the liberal journalist who gives us political power, or the connected citizen who does the same thing. So workhorses are unavailable, but the democratic reformer could also be helpful. Now, for the monarchy compromise, we will need 40% democracy support, but we are already at 34, so it will not take long. Don't need to worry about that. What I need to do is free trade, because it's the best. Now, steel is gonna be a bit of a problem, but the research boost and factory output boost, and even the construction boost, are really worth it. I suppose I could deploy small templates instead and just train them in the field, but this method takes slightly less resources, and we have a lot of time. We don't really need the extra democracy support, but the political power will be helpful.
successful. It's just 5% though. We've re-established free election. Now I need to wait for our democratic support to increase. So who should we hire? Democratic reformer, liberal journalist, connected citizen, pick two. Oh, anti-fascist agent as well. I'm thinking liberal journalist and then connected citizen. For now I cannot continue this. We could do rebuild the nation. The national revitalization spirit is very powerful. It's kind of like a second autarky, but it might be better to the Kaiserwerke and Wilhelmswagen first in order to gain the extra research slot. All right, and also more factories. Don't repair stuff. It's gonna repair on its own. Yeah, let's get the research slot. We're gonna get so many bonuses. Construction three in 1937. Once this reaches 40, I can do the monarchy compromise. Radio research complete. Now it's time for signal companies. Oh, we've deployed some troops. Let's put them in a new army and also exercise them. We need more military factories. More stuff in Spain. Not my problem. Kaiser Werke complete. That's extra six factories. Another six factories. And I know those uh, percentage bonuses like you get from a new and better Germany are better long term, but what I'm aiming for is the research thought. Once we get that, we'll do a new better Germany. Let's get a connected citizen. Political power and stability. That's a lot of stability. Wilhelm Wagen complete. We could do the monarchy compromise now. That would give us a hundred percent total stability. But first I want to get the research slot. Also, let's get some more factories, shall we? The German economy. I'm building them in the states with the most infrastructure, excluding these four, because I can build Reichsautobahn there. Ah, Japan attacks. Now, what is France gonna do? Is France turning communist now that we've done what we've done? Ah, it doesn't matter. If they do, we'll crush them. Oh, you're already trained up. That was quick. It might be due to the lack of equipment on these guys. Signal company complete. Some inventory buffs. I want to do more industry technologies, but first I want to start construction of four with our bonus, then we can do these. Maybe I should be building infrastructure in my states. It will pay off long term, you know, rather than factories. After all, we have such bonuses to infrastructure that it should be worth it. Yeah, something like that. And when you're done with these, build up the rest. And then civilian factories. Still keep our factories busy for a while. Extra research slot complete. We could go for the monarchy compromise now and get yet another research slot. Or we could rebuild the nation and get a new better Germany. So many wonderful choices. New and better Germany is just so tempting. In a moment, monarchy compromise first. We're gonna sharpen air safety regulations. That will prevent the Hindenburg disaster. We don't really care about the Hindenburg though. Not in this playthrough. I could improve worker conditions. Our stability is insanely high already, but when we go to war inevitably, it will be lower. Mm, but for now, I think industrial concern. And some more infantry bonuses. Monarchy compromise complete. We have 100% stability. Communists in the government. I would not like that to happen. But on the other hand, we really care for some communist support. We do have a guy that constantly increases democratic support, so I guess I can do that. We'll get rid of them anyway. Next, focus. Let's reverse the brain drain. We will have six research slots. Let's save that research slot for now. Computing machine completes. Next up, improved computing machine. And construction four to use the bonus and get it early. And now I can start doing concentrated industry two. Troops, exercise. I suppose I could have improved work conditions a bit earlier. See, our stability will fall when we go to war and that would give us so much of it that it wouldn't be a problem. Ah, it's fine. Let's do infantry equipment design. So much stability. Integrated support, my favorite. All right, and modify the template with signal companies. Save. January 1938. We should probably start doing alliances and stuff. Also, hello, research slot number six. New and better Germany, though. Let's do that first. Ah, the economy. Yugoslavia wants stuff. Sure, you can have it. Six research slots. Is it that not wonderful? Do improved machine tools. And I suppose I could do some excavation. Use the bonus on the ahead of time one or on the normal one. Ones. Normal, it's not like we really need it. 1.4 political power per day, 100% stability, 89 war support, 2 million manpower, 100 factories. We're good. War troops deploying. Here you go. That's four full armies. One is still in training. I want to promote Manstein and Kesselring in case I use them later. Also, you can give offensive doctrine to a field marshal and use him as a general that gives them extra attack and aggressive assault and charismatic. I tend to promote the ones I want to be field marshals in the future and then just use them as generals. This way they get an experience faster. New focus, new and better Germany, finally. Very quick focus, very powerful focus. Just look at the construction speed bonuses and there's about to be yet another one. Some more excavation perhaps. Heinz Guderian, Blitzkrieg theorist. He's not going to be researching Blitzkrieg, but he is going to be speeding our doctrines up. New army, concentrated industry three. Is that too fast? Maybe a bit, but just a small bit. New and better Germany. Now look at that construction speed modifiers. To make the situation absolutely perfect, we would want Grossraum Wirtschaft as well for infrastructure, but it's not that important. Now it's finally time for the Great Red Menace. And again, the Great Red Menace doesn't really give us much. No, no, it's good to do it now. I was considering doing bulwark against Bolshevism first because it gives us factory output, but um, this is also important. It gives democracy support to our neighbors. So how's France doing? Let's assign 
Erwin as our general and also let's assign Erwin as our general. Rimmel is not that well suited to infantry but it was funny to do two guys with the same name. Well it was funny to me. The wonders a German economy is capable of. Minus 10% consumer goods. Sure, production for Yugoslavia. How about some advanced machine tools? I think the Soviets might not like us much after this. Germany speaks out against the Soviet Union. Oh, ah, uh, I did not read the second one. Military exercises or something like that. Yeah, factory output increased. Now we have to fan Prussian militarism and all that in order to do the Central European Alliance. I'm not sure if I need to improve relations with them or something like that. We'll see. Let's hurry up. We don't want the Allies snatching them from us. Still don't know what France will do. Can I get France into my alliance? Interwar artillery bonus. I have a lot of political power and not much to do with it. I guess I could do some anti-communist raids just to do something with it. That will decrease my stability temporarily. Now I can also do improved worker conditions. I don't need it because my stability is so high. When we go to war, it'll go down. But if it's at 120%, it will go down to 100. Fan Prussian militarism done. Bulwark against Bolshevism. Factory output increase. Preparing for a big fight. Oh, wait a minute. Did I miscalculate? Oh no, I still have one unassigned division. Turkey wants me to invest in their territory. Why not? I'll think about it. We have so much political power that we could, theoretically, but I still need to hire military advisors. Hungary went fascist. Hmm, that's a pity. Perhaps I could have influenced them earlier. Yeah, well. Oh, I forgot to make an agency. Let's make one. Let's increase the number of factories that are being built in the provinces that already have full infrastructure and prioritize those. Regimental combat teams. Why not? We're now the bulwark against Bolshevism so we can create the Central European Alliance. The big question is, can we get France into it? Bulgaria approaches Germany. It really does it. Time for better guns. Also an infantry expert. I don't really understand this invest in Turkish state building decision. I've tried it a few times and it never gave me anything worthwhile. Maybe I need to dig into the event files. How's my economy? Well, thank you. Concentrated industry 3, which means we can fit even more factories in the States with 100% infrastructure. We need to leave some room for military factories. Uh, Bulgaria seeks Balkan claims warranted. Okay, what do we do here? Sure, maybe that will move them into my faction. And we can get an agent. Who should we get? A Soviet would be preferable. Let's do local training centers first. Research? Some artillery. Hmm, maybe some excavation? We are gaining quite a lot of factories from trade. Localized training centers complete. Let's get a Soviet spy. And maybe do some more anti-communist raids. Should I do that? I mean, I don't really have anything to do with my political power, so why not? And improve our agency. Cryptology. You build spy network in the Soviet Union. Central European Alliance and the Soviets ramp up military build-up. They're getting ready. Military factory construction speed 20%. That's a lot. Let's start with Danubian membership and then maybe do Poland, because Poland and Romania are the ones that are going to be targets of the Soviet Union. Also, that should give us Austria, if they accept. Should I be improving relations with them? I'm not sure that will make a difference, especially with Hungary. Well, let's try it. We do have a lot of political power anyway. Let's see how reluctant France is to join a faction. Quite reluctant. Now, I have not checked the event files. I don't know if our relations have anything to do with their acceptance. Oh, sorry. That's Czechoslovakia, not Yugoslavia. I guess I can do Yugoslavia as well. Is Yugoslavia included in the other one? Yes. Let's do Czechoslovakia. Everyone shall like us. Hmm. Why is improving relations with Czechoslovakia mu this much cheaper? Is that because of the same ideology? Yeah, that'll be it. We have our cryptology department. Let's start decrypting the Soviets. They will be our main enemy. And I uh, upgrade. I have more research thoughts than I know what to do with. Buffed engineers. How's our equipment situation? Should I go to 40 with? Probably. Yeah. Let's start adding infantry. Now, what if I add artillery instead? How will that change our stats? Lots more attack. <laughs> Right, it was the time to bathe my son and now I'm back in Germany. Let's continue. The Nubian membership. In the meantime, our industry is growing at a very fast rate. Oh, wait a minute. There's already 100% here and here. Let's prioritize those. Good. The faster we build factories, of course, the faster they start working for us. Especially now that our consumer goods are, are at minus 5%. Austria joins us. Czechoslovakia joins us. Good. Did this not include Hungary? I never remember. I think it should have included Hungary, but Hungary was the wrong ideology. Hey, okay, let's do Romania. Romania and Yugoslavia. Is that? No paid licenses. Not paid licenses. Whatever. I don't mind. So we have Czechoslovakia. That's wonderful. Hungary. Hungary did not decide to join us. That's not a problem. We'll probably attack one of my subjects, I mean allies, relatively soon and that will prompt us to kill them. And if not, I can still maybe send them to my side with uh, the economic focuses. Align Hungary. They might actually join me with that. Can always use my spies as well. And again, we don't really need them. Let's continue. MP38 researched and we should be annexing Austria soon. 
There is an automatic event that fires if we're in the same faction. Better recon companies. So much research. Communists influence foreign policy, really? Why? I mean, I don't see a problem with increasing communism since we are increasing democracy all the time and I'm even doing anti-communist raids. So why not? And start making the better guns. I should also start making way more support equipment. Like this much. Probably more of the other stuff as well. Also military factories. I have focused on civilian ones quite a lot. Maybe a bit too much. Still, not really a problem. It does the pattern. I'm working on the factories in the places that have 100% infrastructure. Once this finishes and... Oh, I lost my thingy. That's a pity. Anyways, um, yeah, right. Once uh, the infrastructure for Pomeranian finishes, I will add the factory, bump it up to the top and so on. So yeah, we lost the thing, the rebuilding the nation that uh, did wonders for our consumer goods, but we're still fine. War economy is 20%, stability gives us minus five, so that's 15. If we go to war, I can always do uh, war bonds because we will have tons and tons of political power. Since we pretty much got everything we needed. No, actually I still need uh, the military advisors, but that's fine. Do we have anything that we want in 1939? Yes, single companies. Oh right, before the bath, I was supposed to modify our template. Hmm, I will probably want to add some artillery but for now just do infantry we want a total width of 40 so we could do this 28 width of infantry and add four artillery or add six infantry or add three infantry and two artillery i'll think about it depends on our production for now let's we'll just save this one wait for them to get their manpower and then we can exercise them again isn't austria going to join us i guess it doesn't really matter maybe it doesn't happen if we're democratic ah here it is austrian pro-german sentiment soars why not it's going to be core territory i mean usually i prefer to have puppets or allies but uh, uh, it's core territory. So it's better. Did I click the right button? I think so, but I'm not sure anymore. Yay! We get stuff. So some troops that I don't really need, so I'm going to disband them all. Extra manpower, extra equipment, extra factories, and places for factories. Yes, upgrade the infrastructure and build civilian factories. Right, four permanent first. That should do. We have all the 1939 technologies we want. Moving on to 1940. I guess I'll start with uh, the entire. More factories. 189 already. What will we do next? This can let us rid ourselves of any communists in the area. Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg. I might want to do this, otherwise Belgium or the Netherlands might uh, join the Allies. We also can't delay Poland too much. We have a decent chance to get France into my faction. They did not go communist. Because of a joins. And Romania? Romania. Oh, Romania decided to be stupid. They did not join my alliance. Who's gonna protect you? From the Soviet Union and Romania. That was silly. I might still get them through this. No rush. Let's see what the Soviets are doing. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my agency. Damn it. Yeah, let's become the spy master. The Soviets are not justifying on anyone. So I suppose we could move towards Poland now, which requires Scandinavian membership. Let's improve relations with all of them. Once again, I don't know if that makes a difference, but let's. Our faction is not as big as I would hope for it to be, but we did snag Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, and Austria, and that's something. Time for you to exercise a bit. With my production. Oh, actually, I got enough military factories for this from Austria. Nice. Let's add some more artillery. Am I building too many civilian factories? I might be building too many civilian factories. Can we get another Soviet operative? No, not yet. Sofia looks promising. We could use her to do propaganda in the Soviet Union. That'll damage them a little bit. Some more infantry buffs. I suppose, rather than buffing my infantry, I should be working on the industry. It's ahead of time, but it'll start paying dividends immediately. Hmm. Yeah, let's switch that. Those infantry buffs can wait. I should prioritize Poland, probably. Poland or Finland. But Finland, I suppose I can sacrifice Finland if it's necessary. Time for atomic research. It's gonna boost our other stuff. No, actually, time for advanced competing machine and atomic research once this finishes. So the war in Spain is complete. Oh, well, not fully complete, but usually fascist Spain wins, but not this time. More decryption. Sadly, I cannot do coalition governments if I'm a democracy. But I can, for example, infiltrate the army. Is that necessary? Should I do it? Yes, yes, I should. Atomic research. Oh, lots of research. Next doctrine. Time to see if the Scandinavians accept our invitation. Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. Oh, they all accept. That's nice. Okay, we're now much stronger. Hmm, it's a pity the color is so difficult to distinguish from the rest. But we got Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and the Nordic countries. We can now get the Baltic countries, Finland, and Poland. Pity that Romania refused us. Real pity. Are they preparing to attack anyone? No. But I think I'll go for low countries first before the allies snatch them. The Netherlands can be actually quite useful. Let's improve our relations. Once again, I don't know if this does anything, but I have a lot of political power so it doesn't really matter. They're almost willing to join the faction just as is. And so is France. Invite communist ministers. No, don't do it. Denmark joins us. Norway and Sweden. I wonder what the Soviets will do. Very close to acceptance. Actually, you know what? If I did the influence Romania thing, they might just join me uh, on their own. This one here. 
uh, align Romania. Yes, that would work. It wouldn't work with Hungary, so it's worth a try. Or if Hungary attacks them, we can invite them to our faction then. Any interesting decisions? Anti-communist raids. I suppose I could do that. We could save the political power. Still need to improve relations with all of countries. I, I don't know if I actually need to do that, but can. Republican Spain, victorious. Are you democratic? You are. Would you like to be in my faction? You would not. Oh, right. More spies, please. So let's buy. Here we go. Build Intel Network because the others are on a mission. Seems like it's going to be a while before we go to war. I'm going to do anti-communist raids again. Some more stability, not a lot. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Hungary is justifying against someone here. Demand Southern Slovakia. Oh, this could lead to a war with your Slovakia. Nice. Let's get an army in there. Just one is enough, I suppose. Well, maybe two. Go. Destroy Hungary, please. Integer buffs, please. Ah, six research slots. So powerful. United Kingdom dominates Dutch trade negotiations. Do we care? Not really. Unless they join the Allies. Better anti-air. I think I'll start doing military factories after this. I already have so many silly ones. Come on, Hungary. Put those fists up. Let's fight. Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. They all join. Wonderful. It might not seem like much, but each of these countries can give us a bit of help. Looking good. Now we should probably get Poland. Or Romania. Maybe I'll get Romania. So it will take a while, though. What, are, what will happen with France? Oh, Hungary. Come on. Attack. Let's hire a guy. Offense expert or organization expert? Both are decent, I suppose. Let's do attack. Oh, a new operative. A fourth one. Oh, right, because we're the spy master and we're expanding our faction. That's brilliant. Hanna Stotz. You will now boost democracy in the Soviet Union. You will do propaganda. You will... Hmm. I guess I could send her on a diplomatic pressure mission somewhere. How about Romania? I mean, that'll be enough to convince them. They are close to acceptance, anyway. I'm not uh, sure what the cap for diplomatic pressure is. Just the fact that I returned southern stuff like that was stupid. Why did you do that? Hmm. Perhaps a cross-realm Wirtschaft will be unnecessary. Aligning Romania might be unnecessary. Okay, 22% diplomatic pressure is how much? 4 points, which means that it caps at 20, which means I don't actually need the focus. They will accept, just based on the spy. Nice. Who should we snag next? Hungary will not accept. How about Greece? No. Seems like Romania is the only one we can get this way. We should capture the unfortunate. Rescue the captured operative immediately. Now with Grossram Wirtschaft done, I could do these. Hmm. If I align Hungary, am I going to be able to switch them to democracy? I really doubt that. Let's do Poland. Oh, I could also improve relations with Romania to speed this up, but probably not necessary right now. Improve relations with Poland. What is this? Great Red Menace. Yes. That's our modifier. Safia for the Soviets is decrypted. We'll use that later. Now I guess I'll decrypt the French, just in case. Oh, zero. Ah, damn it. I sent the wrong one on the diplomatic pressure mission. You finish your job. All right. That should be sufficient. Oh, right. World Station needs to be at 80 because they're democratic. That's a pity. Oh, well. I'll just have to remember that for later use. In Turkey, you want to join? Nobody wants to join. Well, I'm being dramatic. I already have a lot of members. I'm kind of hoping that Italy attacks Yugoslavia. Speaking of which, I should probably send some people to Italy. A democratic Germany makes for a very peaceful Europe, doesn't it? Let's try boosting democracy in Italy as well. Probably you won't do much, but you really have much to lose either. Oh, I ran out of stuff to build. Hmm. Should I just ignore Reich's autobahn and build these uh, roads myself? I probably should. Yeah, let's do that. Also, since we're already building those military factories, let's reassess our military production. Is this fine? Yes, more or less, but I do need some tungsten. Ah, agent captured again. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is not good. Poland accepts, but the Soviets move to secure influence. What did they get? A justification on Latvia. Right, are we ready to fight the Soviets? I do think so. If I get Baltic membership, we can save them and then be in a defensive war. Okay, they have declared war on Lithuania. Lithuania is landlocked. Well, not landlocked, but Lithuania is not bordering the Soviet Union. They get any other war goals? Oh, they get war goals on all the Baltic countries and on Finland. I think it is time. Let's get all our troops onto the Polish border. Put them unbalanced. Now, what's the template like? If I add artillery, will I have enough equipment? I will not. If I add infantry, I will. I can produce the remaining artillery. Let's try this template. How about this? Yeah, we will be missing a lot of artillery, but I think we can handle that. Let's see how this template operates. Also, do not attack, just secure the border. And make sure to prepare more artillery. Way more. Something like this. Also, not that much support equipment. This should do. Will take a while. Get in position. Lithuania is under attack. I can add them to my faction. There's no need to do it yet, because they're not being conquered right now. Because the Soviets can't reach their territory. They only attack Lithuania, not Latvia or Estonia. I don't actually need to do the Baltic membership focus. This will automatically complete for me when they are attacked. But it might be better to prepare in advance. Let's continue doing it and observe what the Soviets do. Ah, they declared war on Latvia. All right, time to fight. Invite to faction. Wait a minute. Latvia will not accept... <laughs> 
That is pretty silly, isn't it? Oh, that's what you went with, Latvia. So you would rather get annexed by the Soviets than ally the Germans. That's um not a good move right there. Maybe I should not have changed the templates of my troops. Anyways, you guys secure the border. Has Poland joined the war? They have, which means I can accept the call to arms now. Germany under attack. Yes, we are now uh, in a defensive war, which is nice. Finland is under attack. I will invite them to my faction. I'm not sure if the Scandinavians can handle it on their own, but we will focus on this front. Okay, activate because there's not many troops here. Move, or you're not moving. Since there are not many of them, I should probably be aggressive, for a moment at least. So it might not seem like much, but we actually have a lot of small countries helping us out, and that will compound. Uh, also, let's activate the Soviet Cypher while well, I'm still aggressive. Aggressive does deplete your manpower and equipment very quickly, but as you can see, the Soviets don't have enough troops to counter me here. The troops they have don't have that much organization because they're still moving them. Thus, we should be quite successful. Once they get a the proper defense, of course, I will go down from aggressive because aggressive is mostly just a waste of resources. So it is something to consider. Also, I hope that the Scandinavians can secure the Baltic Sea because I can't be bothered. All right, let's just get all the fleets together. Maybe we can secure the Baltic Sea. Add them to one. Can I add them to one fleet? <sighs> Naval management, so lovely. Yes, cancel the existence of your fleets, give you an admiral to a strike force in the Baltic Sea. That should do it. Lithuania regaining its territory. As long as we're green across the board here, well, or almost across the board, uh, there's no need to go down from aggressive. Then we start seeing a lot of red, both in terms of indicators and of red army units. It'll be time to stop doing that. Estonia, would you like to join? Not yet, no. Finland can hold their own, at least for a bit. Do I need Estonia? Yes, I think they'll be helpful. Now I'm starting to see an equal amount of red and green, and also Estonia has called France as an ally. Why? Were you guaranteed by France? Well, if you were, that's perfect, because what I can do now is just accept France into my faction. Well, allies, check this out. And all that without attacking anyone. Everyone inside my sphere of influence. New operative. Who should we get? Probably a Soviet center to build spy network in uh, Vladivostok. Why? Well, because when we take Moscow, this my network will disappear. So we'll have a backup. How are we doing in Italy? Might still turn them to the side of good. Probably won't, but I could. Let's do some propaganda in the Soviet Union. I guess I'll send another spy to Italy. Oh, right, and I can also increase my conscription. Do I need to, though? Do I need to do service by requirement? Not yet. Let's get an army logistics expert. That's going to be helpful in the Soviet Union. And also, time to go down to balanced. I shall focus by path strike at the source. Also, since Estonia has joined, I'm going to modify this a bit. France has been called in. The Soviets don't really stand a chance, do they? This has all been bypassed. Good. Now, is this enough for Romania to join me? Almost. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, I forgot to do a focus. Let's align Romania. With that, they'll get such a modifier that when there's enough world tension, uh, they should get into a faction. I have ran out of places to build stuff. Should I get more ports or something? I don't really have room for anything else. We did too well. I suppose I can do some anti-air. No harm in that. Just so my factories have something to do. Now, should I stop the offensive until we get enough supplies, or should we continue on balanced or even cautious? I'm thinking balanced is the way to go. Let's get the best guns researched. It'll take a while. We do on production. Need more artillery. Oh, and I do need more anti-air as well. Some cars. Shock and awe, please. Hmm, France is going to Finland. That's actually a very good move. If they together quickly enough, maybe Finland will not capitulate, because I focused all my forces down here. That is gave to the British. What does it matter if they're in my faction? We will get our Lebensraum in a defensive manner. We are the party that is being attacked after all. Now, are the French going to be able to save Finland or not? I suppose I could have sent an army here. They might be able to do something about it. We're advancing. We're advancing very slowly. Gonna need some more world tension. Latvia made a big mistake here. Very big mistake. Oh, nice. France has actually joined my main front line as well. And they are going into Crimea. Crimea is always problematic because uh, the front lines get cut off here for some reason. I will take six of you guys and redirect them to Crimea. It's a pity that democracies can't do collaboration governments. Oh, I ran out of stuff to build once again. Don't have room for any refineries. Yeah, that's why we need some Soviet land. There's a lot of potential there. I'm gonna build some anti-air in all our provinces because we don't really have anything better to do. We have completed a line, Romania. Now, once there is enough world tension, they should join a faction. I'm also gonna do Hungary, although I don't think that will succeed. Unless I could turn them democratic, which I could theoretically manage to do. Is democracy in Italy growing? It is. don't really have enough spies to do Soviets, Italy, and Hungary at the same time. Also, I suppose I have distributed 
that these guys are wrong, haven't I? The spy network should be improved first, then you can boost ideology more efficiently. Oh, that's a pity. Perhaps I should have sent an army to Finland excavation for. Yeah, well, our finely concentrated industry, next level. With that extra level of concentrated industry, we no longer need to build that entire air. We have room for factories once again. Lots of military factories. There we go. Everywhere. Also, that entire air goes to the bottom of the list. That's better. You guys doing here? Well enough. Yeah, the northern front is a bit of a mess. I can always make another army I sent it up there. An agent has been captured. Which one? The one building spy network in Italy. Sofia. Gonna have to spring them out. Are we still making gains? Yes. Well, mostly Poland is. Should we really request some territory from them? Preferably all the territory that's actually bordering the Soviets and all new gains should come to us. Poland is actually willing to give me territory. Not all of it, but almost all of it. All right, let's do that. Now, Lithuania, simultaneously. You give me stuff as well. That should give us a bit more control. Follow of Sevastopol and Kiev. Good. Now, it's going to Germany, as it should. Oh, I should have asked Estonia too. Give me some. No, no, no. Ask for control. Okay, that's good. Germany gets lots of stuff. Leningrad is taken. The Soviets and the French are both concentrating their forces up north. That's actually fine. We can handle the Soviets down here on our own. Although our equipment situation says otherwise, doesn't it? Well, I have a lot of factories. They should manage. I should have changed the templates and ramped up production earlier. Maybe try and connect the territories. That would be very convenient. I am suffering some losses. We might need to increase our conscription loss soon. But first, army regrouping expert. Romania would rather be part of the Allies. Oh, you traitors. Hmm, France is pushing up north and recovering Finnish territory. Captured a Soviet operative. We are making slow progress, but I don't want to overexert our armies too much. We have done Aligned Hungary, that's probably not gonna give us anything. Is there anything else we would like to research? Not Rex Autobahn. I built that already. Shared R&D programs. Hmm, that could be helpful. Let's do that. I'm going to need to change my economy soon, because I'm excavating a lot of steel and then I'm selling it. Well, I need to buy it back later. I have a bit too many factories. Ramping up production some more. Hmm. Seems like a huge European alliance is quite effective against a single country. Who would have thought? Oh, did the French go communist? God damn it. But they are already at war with the Soviets. So that's not going to make trouble for us because we're actually in a war together. So we're gonna use them and then, well, then we might turn on them. We'll see. Am I stretched too thin? Oh, no, not really. I am being pushed back here though. Fortunately, soon our equipment troubles should be resolved. Oh, all green. Stuff is decrypted. Let's activate it. And sadly, I have to do service by requirement. We have been a bit too aggressive and we've lost a lot of soldiers. I agree to Transylvania, really. Wonder what Romania would do. I would welcome you into my faction. I would protect you from Hungary. Although, Romania can probably protect itself from Hungary. All right, new focus. Mannheim project. That is quite interesting. Oh, this is nice. Production cost reduction for infantry equipment. That will be very useful. Although, I think I'll do army innovations first. Then we can finish the doctrine tree much quicker. That's a lot of troops from all around Europe. And Finland is back in the game. Can we influence foreign policy again? Do we care? I don't really want to take a stability hit. I can handle some communists. Finland, do you want to give me territory? No. Treaty of Krajowie, okay. Uh, Bulgarian demands. Yes, we will back Bulgarian demands, as we promised. Now, Romania. Is Bulgaria willing to join my faction? All right. I'm not investing in Turkey because I don't see any gain in that. I would like Bulgaria and Greece and Romania to join me. Also, I'm not sure why Romania would prefer to be part of the Allies rather than my faction. We're clearly much stronger. Oh, the French communists have landed. The invasion has slowed down quite a lot. That is to be expected. We're not doing too great on equipment, but I'm working on it diligently. Although we ran out of stuff to build, but we can focus our immense factory base on repairing infrastructure here. That is also beneficial. I think Finland can handle its troubles. Damn, I forgot to prioritize production properly. Should have cavalry templates managing that. It will be easy to notice in the list. Yeah, that's a major oversight, actually. When you do war propaganda, I do not. Go take care of that territory. I could liberate Latvia. They would join my faction then, probably. But there is no need for that, is there? Yeah, garrison needs to be prioritized. Okay, we've done army innovations. Now let's do pool technical know-how. That will boost our entire faction slightly. Can we connect? That would be helpful. Yes, yes we can. That's better. We are attacking Moscow. Not very efficiently. You, there. Yeah, this is better. I definitely need more territory for factories. Change the amounts a bit. Let's get some more stability. Fall of Moscow. We have taken stuff. Oh, Finland, do you want to give me stuff? The transmission from Japan. What did happen with Japan and Bulgaria? Bulgaria has joined the Japanese faction. That is um, not that surprising, actually. 
more operatives. Yes, please. Fritz Schneider. Finnish government in exile. Yes, let us reinstate Finland. Being a virtue, Finland, you want to give me stuff? It's going to be a bit more stuff. Production situation suboptimal. Fortunately, we have France as a source of stuff. Although I do regret not getting hungry in Romania. That could have been done. Advanced fire bases. Second to last doctrine. How's it going? Well enough. Oh, did I run out of order? Is that better? Japan attacks the Philippines. Okay. And someone is justifying something on someone. Japan? Really? Do we care about the nuclear reactors? Not really. Ideally, they should boost the economy, but uh, those are just test reactors. It's way too early for that. That would give me a war goal against France. We could use that later. Rice Autobahn is already built. I wish you could bypass that if you have max infrastructure in these bits. I suppose I'll do... Naval rearmament. That's some dockyards. Just some dockyards, not much. But it's just 35 days. As occupied territory, better. Now that we have the garrison for it. Okay, this is looking good enough. Just need more guns. And I am working on it. Should I boost the infrastructure here? I guess I don't have anything better to do. Just blanket improvement. Also, maybe some ports. Supplies go through Poland, but just in case. All right, he got booted because we took Moscow. Uh, but we already have a spy network down here, so he will not be needed. I guess I could send you to Italy. Together with this dude. Make Italy, sorry, Hungary. Make Hungary democratic for me. Because then I'll be able to get them into my faction. Probably. So what is Japan doing exactly? Because it says it's justifying against me. Strike on the southern resource area. Oh, god damn it. France is in my faction. You know what I could do? I could just kick France. I have no need of a fight with Japan. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick France. They are at war with uh, the Soviets, so they can't join the Comintern. This way they will not pull me into a war. What? Who else is in the southern resource area? Oh, the Netherlands, too. I don't want to kick the Netherlands. But on the other hand, I don't want to fight the Japanese. Should I kick the Netherlands? It was I like, could fight the Japanese. All right, I'll allow the French back in. Oh, that removed an agent. It's a pity. Bulgaria is in a faction with them, but we can deal with them a bit later. Let's get some extra free dockyards. Should I do all adults serve? No, not really. That would cripple our production efficiency. Finland, do you want to give me more territory? You do not. How about the French? Do You don't even control anything, technically. All right. The best guns have been researched. Let's make them. Also, I suppose it's time to change our economy now. Limited exports because of all the steel. It's a pity I have to do it, but I kind of have to do it. How far is the Soviet Union from capitulation? We should probably check that soon. Looking promising, although a bit slow. Japan attacked the Netherlands and Hungarian bombing competition. Sure, that's fine. I don't want to join the war against Japan just yet. We will join it, just not yet. More dockyards, please. Oh, Italy has joined their faction, so that ideology boosting is no longer going to be viable. We just keep uh, the network. We'll deal with them once we're done with the Soviets, unless they defeat the French in the meantime. The French are communists anyway, but no, no, I think they can handle it. I'll join you later. And again, if I don't join you right now, Yugoslavia might get defeated. Ah, let's roll the dice on this one. Just focus on the Soviets. Now there's States to join the Allies, which means the Brits will get involved. That's fine, I can crush Italy a bit later. When did that happen? Hungary has now joined their faction. Kinda need more armies just to get involved here. But I don't want to pull any troops back from the Soviet front. I will just train some more troops. Two armies should suffice. Be quick about it, please. Let's boost our naval invasion capabilities since we are supposed to defeat Japan. Why do you guys stop moving? Oh no, they're gonna defeat Hungary without me. I wanted that land. Last doctrine. Shock and awe. Alright, something's going wrong with this army. They're not attacking for some reason. We'll need to reorganize. All right, who Who's the best field marshal? You are. I'm going to select you to lead the newly deployed army. Let's replace him with the general. Oh, that's better. Now they're attacking. Just a moment until they can be deployed. Of course, I could deploy them in parts, but that would be inconvenient to manage. Two more armies. The big template. Don't really have equipment for it, but it's fine. We will produce it soon. Two armies. One army group. Erich von Manstein is our field marshal. And two level four generals. Go. Capture Hungary. And you take care of Italy. Of course, I'll only declare war after they're in position and reinforced at least a bit. Or rather, accept call to arms, not declare war. A bit of a difference there. Fall of Stalingrad. Okay. How close are you to giving up, Joseph? Not that close. I'm gonna need way more. But we are progressing steadily. Panzerfaust complete. Panzerfaust means a uh, fist for tanks or tank fist. Okay, the ones I sent here should probably only attack Budapest itself. Be less of a hassle and will bring us victory. So it's cipher decrypted. All right. Time for a bit of a push, I think. Let's activate the cipher and make you aggressive for a little while. Go. We want to mob them up quickly. Do you guys receive any reinforcements yet? Well, you do have some guns. 15% of them have guns, it seems. That's um, good enough. Enough. Let's join. Because I'm mostly meant to just protect my borders while I deal with Hungary. Once they're reinforced, it's gonna be easy, but uh, they might have been a bit too hasty. We'll see in a moment. Once we're done with Hungary, I'll move these troops down to Bulgaria and then we can handle Italy. In the meantime, how are we doing in the Soviet Union? Very well. Is there any other focus we want? Not right now. Let's get the repair focus.
Marcus. Expedition forces from Denmark. One division, no thank you. If it was your entire army, then maybe. But not like this. Surrounded by the best. Let's get some anti-communist raids. Full of Baku. And the Soviets are 93% towards capitulation. Still need some time. The French are pushing back though. Oh, Hungary has capitulated. Why did I not get a notification about that? Were they not in a war? In the war. No, no, they were. Strange. Well then, we're free to deal with Bulgaria now. Romania would like to join my faction. We just need a little bit more world tension. We're close to being done with the Soviet Union. Whoa, I do need more guns, don't I? Polish expedition forces. 30 divisions, that is... Yes, acceptable. Let's get them. Yes, Polish divisions under German generals. Friends against the fascists. Go, my Polish friends. I'm gonna get so much Lebensraum here. I am on aggressive. This is exhausting my supplies a bit, but we do want to finish this quickly. The war with the Soviets has dragged on for too long, and I still need to invade Japan. There's some stuff going on in Italy, but we don't care about that. Let's see if Turkey or Greece want to join me. No, they won't, and... No, they won't. I know there's a notification if you can invite someone, but uh, sometimes they're very close to it, and you just need a little nudge until they'll join. Cyprus has been released. Really? Surprising. Might not even need my main army for Italy. We're doing quite well. Although the main army would certainly speed things up a lot. Now more experience, and there's more of them. Should we build more stuff? There isn't really anything to build. I guess I can build airports. They will be useful after the war. A small airport for everyone. Why not? Everyone gets an airfield. Four Lithuanian divisions. There we go. Kazan. Is that sufficient? No. Shock and all complete. That is a huge boost to our strength. Better landing crafts will be useful for Japan. And the Soviets have capitulated. To me. Sadly, we are a democracy. So we cannot make them into a puppet. However, I could make tons of small supervised states. They could be my supervised state rather than, you know, a direct puppet. Or I could just take the territory. Let's satellite a lot of small states and see how that works out. Yes. And the rest? Well, the rest we'll just take for ourselves. Make sure to take all the coasts so others can't steal your stuff. All right, Japan will invade me here momentarily. I guess it doesn't really matter. See, I've separated all the others from territory they could take. It's all mine. Right, that's enough for this round. Good. I suppose I could still satellite the Soviet Union as a small subject somewhere here. Or just take the territory and release them as a subject. That's not that important. Oh, who's taking these? Who? Oh, God damn it. The French have satellited them. That's gonna be a problem. Although, not really, since I intend to beat out the French too. Let's pass a few times and take the rest. Yeah, I should have satellited them first. Or to be precise, make them a supervised state. And we're done. Ah, Germany, and Kazakhstan, and Ukraine, and others, all in our faction and a supervised state under myself. There's still a Soviet Union that exists, now on our side, and subject of the French. Still communist, because the French are communist as well. And we can now invite Romania to our faction. Let's do that. So, should we take care of the Japanese now? Let's get all of you guys here. Well, maybe not all of you. I'm gonna give two armies, well, one army to this guy, so it can help in Italy. The remaining four can go to Japan. I won't need four armies in Japan, so it's fine. Go do it. We have lost bulwark against Bolshevism because there is no more Bolshevism. Bulgaria is about to be taken care of, Romania has joined, and Romania is actually a very capable combatant. And lend lead from the French. Now we do have a navy somewhere. Let's take all of you, move you to Vladivostok. It's gonna take you a while, isn't it? Once you're there, prepare an invasion of Japan. I don't really have a lot of ships, this might be problematic. Also, I might lose Vladivostok before they reach the area, and we just have to redirect them somewhere else. Probably give them some invasion orders too. Go here. Hungary is just a against Romania, but Hungary is capitulated. Hmm, extra stability for not holding elections. Let's do that. Bulgaria, almost taken care of. Okay, now I can actually build stuff. I will not benefit that much from it, because it's, um, you know, in occupied territory. Still, at least we can do something. Italy being nicely taken care of. The guys finish Bulgaria off quickly. I want to send you to Italy. Still holding Vladivostok. For now. Why are we fighting? Not supposed to be fighting. Do not engage. Moving to naval base. Okay. Some spies in Japan. Italy does not seem to be in a good position. But you have to fight Japan. It's very annoying to do it. See, I'm joined. That's uh, mostly irrelevant. Right, you're almost in position. Might be time to start making your orders. All right, preparing to invade Japan. Two weeks. I sent them in groups of four. Sweden is sending me expeditionary forces. I mean, it's hardly necessary now. So we still need to handle Japan. I do hope some allied navies will be operating in that region. All uh, right, I should have satellited the Soviets in order to obtain their fleet. Oh, too late for that now. Fall of Rome. Yeah, they should be capitulating soon. Our guys are ready, we just need to send some ships out. Let's hope that is sufficient. Do naval invasion support, is that sufficient? No naval supremacy. If I do patrol instead. What is wrong here? Are you still getting in position? Right, well, let's try this again. Stop what you're doing. Patrol the Sea of Japan. How about now? Engage low risk only. Naval supremacy 24%. That's not sufficient. No, no, no. Also, a pity. Alright, that's a problem. Do not engage. We go to the naval base. We'll need to produce some more ships. What's the cheapest ship we have? Submarine. Sure. Make lots of these. Deploy them all. 
into those fleets, doesn't matter which one. And hurry up, please. Hope that once Italy capitulates, some allies would send their navy to Japan and that will help us. Oh, are you done? Almost. I guess I don't need to pile up even more troops here. Let's just let it happen. Let's boost the port. Military access from uh, the United States. Yes. Yes, you can have it. Perhaps you'd like to send a fleet? Can I offer you fleet basing rights? Or does military access already include that? I don't remember. I think it does. I'll ask for military access. Might come in handy if they take some territory here. Submarine production, very slow. Do I need to build extra dockyards just for that? Uh, right, Italy has been captured. Fortunately, that will not be the end of the war. Oh, concentrated industry, nice. I can actually build extra dockyards if I so choose. Maybe I should. I'll just max them out, deal with that troublesome Japan. We do have some planes, don't I? Haven't used them for the entire game. No? Uh, well, except for the Civil War. Let's get all the planes. Maybe they can help with naval supremacy. Tell me what? Russian Socialist Republic. Oh, you're now Russian Socialist Republic, not Soviet Union. Still ruled by the same guy. I'm not sure why Tanutuva succumbed to pressure of these guys, but they sure did. The French want to send me stuff, of course I'll accept. Oh, there's some friendly ships here. They're not mine, but they're friendly. This might be our chance. The boat repairs, as always. All right, never engaged, that's the problem. How about now? 42.5%. Insufficient. Return home, please. Did you lose a lot? The naval invasion has launched, somehow. Not sure how, but it did. There must have been a moment where we had enough support. Supremacy. All right, you can return to patrolling this year, Japan. Maybe it'll help our guys a bit. Naval invasions have landed, so Japan is as good as dead. You guys, take some territory. And another batch has landed. And another, and another. We really have ports, but that's uh, not that important. Oh, and we've decrypted the cipher just in time. Activate. Have we captured any ports? No, we have not. Can you just rush one? You take Hiroshima. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the lazy man's conquest. How is that done? You garrison enemy territory and let your troops run around it. We're so much stronger that it should actually work. This is especially effective if you're using any of the mods that increase unit speed. Then they'll just run all over enemy territory. All right, let's try that. Take Hiroshima first so that you can have a port and then you can do silly things. Though I suppose I could give you manual orders too. Yeah, be super aggressive and run all around their territory. That should do it. See, it's strangely effective. Not against a human, although sometimes against a human as well. They operate with a lot of autonomy and somehow it works. Right, we took Tokyo. They should be surrendering soon. Can you go for Nagasaki, please? That will be all the major victory points, I think. Yeah, the Japanese, just like the British, never garrison their home isles sufficiently. So it's very easy to kill them, provided you've landed. Why is my war score so small? Is it because of China? God damn it, China. Right, we we want to do supervised state on Italy this time. We really probably want to do that on all the governments. So we do the same method we did with shadow puppeting. Just select a cheap province, supervise them with that, and untake all the other territories. Once again, if someone missed that, so the same to Japan. First you take all states, then you pick a cheap one, like the Marcus Island, then you satellite them, or in case of a democracy, do a supervised state, and you untake all the other territories. Bulgaria, what should we do with Bulgaria? Same thing. Hungary, I kind of just want to take their stuff. It will be expensive though. Oh, we can satellite a separate country of Transylvania. That's nice. All right, that's too much. It's not satellite Transylvania or Hungary. That's enough for the first round. We made some supervised states. I'm gonna pass a few times and take stuff. Just take stuff. Pass, 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 pass. Oh, they satellite Austria. Not a problem. We'll just go around Austria. Pass, 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 pass. And take some Italian territory. Yes, I know I could give it to Italy much cheaper and they are a supervised state, but the supervised states are not really puppets. They don't give you any of their factories. So they're only useful if you want them as allies or or if you think they're cool, or if you want to humiliate your opponents. So my satelliting them was mostly meant to, or rather making them supervised states, was mostly meant to make sure that others can't do it, like France. Turn, pass, 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 pass. Should we annex Japan too? Pass, 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 pass. Yes, yes we should. And turn, and we're done. So let's see what we got. We got Japan, we got Italy, we got Hungary, we got Bulgaria, and we got a wonderful, simply wonderful border gore. Also got a subject Italy, which is a supervised state, so not a proper subject. Now, what I can also do is release a nation like this. Let's try that with Hungary. Release nation, release as puppet. And this way, they are actually a proper puppet, not a supervised state. So we technically could have been taking all that land for ourselves and releasing them as proper puppets, like Hungary is now. Now, the problem with that is... Oh, right, I almost forgot. Could have used this focus to puppet Romania, since they joined our faction. Anyways, um, where was I? Yes, the problem with uh, that method is that we had France in our faction. And France is communist, so they could do proper puppets. 
from the start. So the supervised states are not ideal, but also we don't really care that much. Let's unpause the game for a moment, make sure our factories are updated. 467 factories. Okay, let's have a look at our faction. Central European Alliance. Well, it's, well, it is European, it includes most of Europe. Central, well, central to the world, I'd say. We are definitely the most powerful country in the world. And I am going to end this video here. I must say the democratic tree-fold German surprised me a bit. It is better than I expected it to be. More interesting. We also can get a war goal on France and just attack them like this. And kick them, wait for the truce to run out, do the focus and attack France. That will give them to us directly. We don't have to. They are in our faction. What we could also do is turn against the Allies or against China. And with our power we could crush them very easily. We are Germany after all, but we're not just Germany. We actually have all those allies with us. However, we are democratic, so turning against the allies would actually be very difficult. We would need to find a way to attack them. Perhaps they would guarantee France. There is a chance of that. But we would have to wait and see. As for China, we can justify war goal because they have generated world tension. I guess I'll check that with the others. See, we can't do that against the Brits or the Americans or the Mexicans. But if we could have France join the allies, even though they're communist, that would let us attack them. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Let me know how you like this weird border goal. I do like it. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.